Hello, I'm Don Gay, back with another crop of wrecks from the Professional Bull Riders Tour. We've got guys being tossed, flipped, hooked, dragged across the arena, every kind of wreck you can imagine. Luckily, though, there were few serious injuries amid all the cuts, bruises, and other little owies. Let's start with the last show of last season, the PBR World Finals, as Ronnie Kitchens meets up with a bull we call Predator. This is Ronnie Kitchens on the Predator from the PBR Finals, Donnie. All right. Sunday afternoon performance. Ronnie Kitchens taking that final rap. It's a good bull right here. Should go to the left right there. And I think this bull just got one horn, if I remember old Predator. He's a Harford Morgan bull. And he starts left, back, right. Now here he comes left. Ronnie, oh, he's whipped down. Look like he whacked him in the high. Look out, he's hung up. All right, yeah, he sprung a leak. Yes, sir. Blood everywhere on Ronnie Kitchens. Justin Healer's gonna get their money's worth. Get you another look at it. Now he's, you know, this is a good draw. But when you're straining, he's making too big a moves and doesn't need to whip that whop right there. I mean, just, I mean, whopped him hard. He's already hit, you can see the Blood starting right there, but I mean, you're not out of the woods. You can't be feel sorry for yourself. Joe Baumgartner makes a great save. Just one more look at it. Now, right here, when he's whipping him down, right here. Boom. Whack. There it is. Now, he does a good thing. He could just whine, but he stood on his feet, got his hand out of the rope, got gone. Now, you go assess the damage. Here's Leslie Doyle on Little Hostage. It's a really a good bull. Sunday afternoon at the PBR Finals. Leslie Doyle, he's whipped down and feet. Oh, man, he is flashed. You got to get moving. He's knocked out. Look at that. Joe Bumgardner knocked to Tahoe. Oh, that's Frank Newsom. Man up, down. Leslie Doyle hit him in the jaw. He's going to be wired up again. This poor guy, Leslie Doyle, has had broken jaws. And just when he gets fixed up and back out here again, Don, he gets really popped by a little hostage. Like you say, the Justin Healers, they can work overtime. Now, right here, he's down and, oh, there is a shot. He's knocked out, but you see, he's trying to keep moving. Frank Newsom, Jimmy Anderson, Roach Hedeman, they're all there. They're doing all they can do. He's knocked out. I mean, you know, he's trying to do all he can. Frank Newsom just takes a shot, takes a ride on the reading. Jimmy Anderson right there. Leslie Doyle. You want to be a bull rider. Honey, here's Jim Sharp on Route 22. All right, little black bull supposed to jump out there and go to the left. Sharp's got his neck brace on. Saturday afternoon, PBR goes to the right, down in the well, and he's hung in the bull rope. He's on his feet like a veteran, Jim. Jimmy Anderson right there. Joe Baumgartner. Oh, oh my, Roto Rooter in the corner. It's a street fight down there. Joe Bumgardner, everybody involved that time. Even the guy in the front row got a little closer to the action than he wanted to. Yeah, I didn't pay for that on my ticket. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Round to the right, and he just gets over aggressive, slides him down inside. Everybody's doing what they can do. Wow. That's what it takes right there. Another look at it. Jimmy Sharp. Watch him what he does when he goes down. And he pulls himself right up, gets on his feet, undoes the wrap. Then gets his hand out, and I mean, that's just unfortunate right there. <laughs> oh, my. This is Owen Dunn, Donnie. I remember this one. Sunday afternoon at the finals, he was on turbo. All right, that Harford Morgan bull. Now, now this one here, can, he can do it. Look at the belly roll here. Oh, and done. He's a trying to make the whistle, but doesn't get it done. Now he's trying to save his life. He's hung up Frank Newsom in the battle. Jimmy Anderson got him around the head, and he's still hung up. And it's off to the races. You can't catch him, but now you talk about wired for 220. Owen Dunn got his money's worth yeah. right there. And they don't make him any tougher than this guy. Well, he knocked a <laughs> hole in his chin. He sprung a leak. Yeah, he's had Justin that Justin Healer's wearing out a pair of boots. <laughs> <laughs> he's going out there and saving these guys, dragging them back. 
PBR finals had lots of action, to say the least. Watch this, bull. Look at that belly roll there. That rope has slipped over, and he can't make the right-hand turn. But I'm going to tell you, when you hung like this, I mean, you can't. I mean, that's as hard as everybody can work, including Owen. And this bull is kicking him. Look at him kicking him. He's already hit him on the chin. Look at Jimmy Anderson. <laughs> I mean, when all else fails, just go in. Here comes the troops. See, Frank's got, he's got the tail of the rope, got his hand, it won't come out. He is, now he is welded in there. Joe Bumgardner, he's on the outside of the curb, can't get there. Now watch Jimmy Anderson cuts across. Almost got one of the judges in the process. Woo! Sam Medlock, double bubble, the name of the bull. All right, this is Saturday Night Live. The rookie, Sammy Medlock, gonna get some good initiation right here. Going down in the well. He didn't get drug up. Wow! Hola! Well, now there's a good case for, for a vest. The prote protective vest right <laughs> yes, there. Exactly. Double bubble. And Dwayne said, yeah, I'm all right thanks to the vest. It's worth another look. Now you talk about now this reminds me of that song and another a, a double shot of my baby's love right here. Watch this. Going down in the well. Exit, stage left for Sam Medlock. Mm. This is not an easy deal. Wow! Woo! Well, that's a great shot. Now, right there, there is perspective of taking a shot. Absolutely. Here's Dwayne Evans, Donnie. Watch me, the name of the bull from the PBR Finals on Saturday night. All right, Dwayne. Rookie bull rider, PBR Finals. Into his hand right there. Get there and get the money. He's whipped down. Hung in the bull rope. The little bull's the only constellation. Oh, oh Frank Newsom, he's up and down. Dwayne's there, Frank's back in the fray again. Roach Hedeman, Joe Baumgartner, Jimmy Anderson, they all there. Well, that Frank, you'd think after a shot like that, he'd back off. He was right back in the middle of it. Well, you, we used to call Rob Smets is the kamikaze kid, but Frank Newsom is, uh, I mean, he's just plumb banzai. Watch this. There he is. There he is. Up okay. and over. Now what? He, he said, hey, I didn't even lose my feet. Let me have this bull again. <laughs> Great job. Watch this second time when he moves in there, Donnie, after he does the back flip here. Whoa. Here he comes again. Right there. <laughs> what a move. Let's go now to uh, Tracer Hand, Donnie. This was on downtown. Here we go. Uh-oh, going down in the well inside. Look out. That's what the band leader said, keep it moving, boys. I guarantee you they're going to wear out a pair of boots. The Justin Healers are over time. Here we go. Round to the left. He just loses a hole with that right foot. And I mean, he took a good shot on the hump, and then that bull just blasted him out of there. Jimmy Anderson and Joe Bumgardner, they run an interference all the way to the wall. Wow! Bang! Well, old Leslie Doyle, it's bad enough to make the wreck section once, but uh, here he is again. This was on Simple Simon, Donnie. All right, now this was the day before. Oh. There's nothing simple about it. Look at, look at, look at Leslie. Now he'll get up and grin. If you don't break his jaw, he'll smile at you. Those Hedeman. Well, I want you to watch also Frank Newsom. He's bucked off. The Bulls got him lined out. He knows he's going to get it. But guess who else gets it? Oh. I mean, look at Frank. I mean, he's just right there. Now, this will make you want to throw up. Cool. Just kicked him right in the back. Close to tagging him at the back of the head. Here's Kent Cox. This was on Billy Bob. Bull Nanzarino. Kent Cox just coming back from hand surgery. Oh, no. Down in the well, and he hangs up. The hand that's hung in the rope is the hand that he is not the hand he had operated. You see the cast on his left hand. That had a big part of him dragging him down in there. Fort Worth, Texas bull rider. 
Be the cast down in the well. You can't hardly get a hold. You can't help yourself. Greg Rumor moves in there. Good job. Down in the hole. So he can't get a hold with his hand with his left hand because of that catch. Wow. Fighters do a good job. They pay for their wages. This is Donald Owens, Donnie. This is from the Tour Challenge on a bull called Slim. Good draw right here. Donald Owens, Choctaw, Oklahoma. He was trying to get there, gets back on the rumble seat. He's in a little trouble. Now he's down in under. He didn't let go. He needed to make the whistle, but check it out. <laughs> Boys, I'm in the market for a new hat, but guess what? My head's okay. <laughs> oh, I remember that one, Donnie. It drug him through the dirt. Donald was okay, Tandy thankfully, Freeman. after all that. Tandy Freeman says, I don't have enough saline to wash your face. You're going to have to go to the hotel. But now, grit and determination. He got stepped on the kick. Might be a little green stuff in there, and check it out. He looked like Napoleon at Waterloo. Wow, oh, man. Any more beans, Cookie? Yeah. Woo! What a shot. Jerome Davis had his ups and downs as well. Here he is. This was on Tornado. All right. Odessa, Texas. Jerome Davis, Tornado. Round to the right. Good turn. Slam dunk. Boom, oh, man. He about got lit. I mean, that bull lit, lit right on him. Shoo. They want a shirt. Shirt and a bad headache for Jerome Davis. Okay, round to the right, and he just gets there, and boom, bang. Boy, and Jerome got a broken nose out of this, as I recall, Donnie. That's a little too close for comfort. Woo! Oh, boy. Probably coming back up, just drug him right across his face. That has to hurt, but Jerome Davis is a tough guy. This is Dean Wilson. The bull is tropical depression. We're still in Odessa, Texas. We worked out our Justin Healers here in Texas, just like we did at the PBR Finals in Las Vegas. Dean Wilson, he's spurring. He's got him going one way, he's upside. Oh, man, he's hung in a rope and Ooh. stepped on. How that close a, can it get? That was a good bull, and he's upset because he had him going. Look at him spurring with the outside foot. Back the other way. Look at the rope slip all the way across, all the way underneath. Wow, never hurts to be a little lucky. Another look. You can see the rope coming right there. He's out of there. Boom, bye. Here's Jed Ward on Big Otis. All right, big old stout bull, still in Odessa, Texas. Jed Ward, he's had his problems, you know, this guy's got close. Here we go. Back. Oh, man! Oh. We saw that earlier, and there it is. That's, uh, that's a, a, a mouthpiece and teeth. Yeah, he broke his jaw. There it is, right underneath. You see where the horn just caught? Right underneath. He can't take his mouthpiece out. Now you see the strawberry underneath? They wired him up, he'd be good as new. Get you another look at this. Your head comes up, but boy, that really helps him whip you down, but he knows it. Wapola, mama, do the chicken bra. And again, the Justin Healer folks right there. This is Tracer hand on undertow. Richmond, Virginia, Tracer down in the well. Hit hard. All that atmosphere, you can't get none of it. He knocked all of the wind out of him. Get another look at it while the medics take a look. Little Bull just comes around to the right. Tracer just on the end of his arm gets over too far. Just hit him really hard. Almost got that spur hung in the bull rope as well. Wow. Hit him hard there, another another good shot. You know, it doesn't look bad, and then you see it, you get an angle like that, and our cameraman got that one. It hurts. This is Jerome Davis on Georgie Porgy. All right, Jerome, you ride great. You've been a champion of the world, and you don't want to make this wreck sexy. He's been there three times. He's up and out from under that one. A little better shape, but our bullfighter doesn't fare as well. Oh, Lloyd, Lloyd, catch him. I mean, these guys are going down like the Titanic. 
You love rodeo, don't you? Oh, boy. I'm just about this far away. You're all going, oh, man. This has to be Monday morning. Why don't you look at the belly rolls on this bull? Little black newly, you say. Well, he shouldn't be too dangerous. Oh, my, Dustin Hawks. He's in there. Lloyd, catch him. He's a little bit late. You zig when you should have zagged. Watch out. Justin, look out. <laughs> Bowl him down. The bowling alley. Here's KJ Pletcher. Bulls called the shark. All right, still Richmond, Virginia, away from his hand. Little flat. Now he's going back on the rumble feed and he's hung in a rope. Oh, get up. You got to get on your feet. It's the mix master. Take I 94 Ooh. west and you'll get home. Look at those horns. Rowdy Barry, that had a 1,500-pound wedgie. That's worth another look. All right, they had a really a good ride. The Shark, Harper Morgan Rodeo Bull, runs him back on the rumble seat, and then he's trying to get that one horn that's down kind of into him. Look at there. Roach Hedeman right there, Rowdy Barry. Uh, oh! Oh, this, look, here comes Roach. He's right there. Rowdy's right there. Okay, I'll lead him off. Woo! Yeah. No, never touched me. Never touched me. Keith Adams, knock him out, John. Oh, this is a tough one right here. Yep. Keith Adams got him going. Ooch. Ooch. Woo. Rowdy. Rowdy is just, I mean, we, uh, blow, we blowed Keith Adams out of his goggles. Cody Lambert gets him to Tandy Freeman, the Justin Healer. Rowdy Barry, I don't know where we're going to take him. NASA. Get him astronaut training. His feet comes out right here. Oh, there's nothing you can do about it. Rowdy Barry takes a shot, and then he takes another shot. And I'm going to tell you, that had to yes. hurt. Now, I might get a look from Keith Adams' perspective now, looking up at this bull, and you think, oh, my God. <laughs> Jim Sharp, Owen Dunn, Jerome Davis, these men are among the best bull riders in the world. I think the fact that they're on the rec tape says a lot about the caliber of the bulls and the level of the competition on the PBR tour. Now, bull riding is unlike any other sport in the world in one very important way. Completing the ride and getting a score is only half the battle. The other half is getting away. And next up is a section I call, It Ain't Over Till It's Over. Here's K.J. Fletcher on Mighty Mouse. All right, Bull Nanza, Guthrie, Oklahoma. Oklahoma bull rider, K.J. Fletcher. It's a nice bull ride right here. Got good position, burned the outside foot a little bit, just got soft looping with the blows. Now make a good get off. Oh! Ow. Saw where he's looking. That hurts. He says, you got to come help, boys. And some of them are going, no, I ain't going to look. <laughs> I don't want to look. It ain't over till it's over. That's why we call it this. It's a really a nice ride, but you got to finish it off just like you ride and get way away. This bull steps right on it. Ooh, the family. Oh, boy. Our film producer is tough. Ouch. Man, oh man. Here's Owen Dunn on Maverick. All right. Tough uh, Hedeman challenge. All right, right here. Bull Fur. Here we go. Got her going. Nice bull ride. Spurred the outside foot. In a little trouble. Whistle blows. You go. Oh, no. Oh, man. I think he hit right on that horn. I think he knocked far from him. Oh, look at the blood. Oh, man. In the ear or in the nose. Woo. He has sprung a leak. Dave Lammers, Dr. J. Owen Dunn, up amazingly, being helped out of the arena, but boy, what a shot. Now there it is, and this is, it ain't over till it's over at its finest, or baddest, whichever way you want to say. This is a great ride. 
Being aggressive. You gotta finish it off and you gotta go on with it. Wow, he hit him right in the, I mean, just hit him right in the face. 86 points. And everything he won, he's gotta spend at the doctor's office. Sometimes it just don't pay to get out of bed. This is Barry Gullo on Smiling Jack. This is from the Nile and Billy. All right, Billy from Montana. He's trying to go down in the well, but he's making a good ride and does it. Oh, watch out. Don't get stepped on, Barry. Get on your feet. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Stepped on the right way. Oh, boy. Well, you caught him right behind the knee, Don. You know, it's just a really a fine ride. He's down in there just a little bit. But you see, he just holds. He doesn't panic. But he just can't finish. When the whistle blows, he should just, you got to get your hand out before you let your feet go. But those legs are dragging, and he got stepped on. I couldn't see it on that one. Let's get another look at it. Might be right here. Boom. I think it was right there. Maybe right the there. first dead blurred jump. Right oh, there. no. There it is. Ow! Boy, he'd be lucky if that's not broke. Mm. Woo! A wrecked oh, shot. Here's Gilbert Grillo. This was on the Hunky Tom. All right. Oh, yeah. Come on. Gilbert's got him rode. What a nice bull ride. Uh-oh. Not he need to work on that get off. Lloyd catch him right there. Ray Wiley, Lloyd catch him. They got him up. He said, OK, pay me. I'll take a little shot and short for the money. <laughs> Good score for Gilbert. A little close on that getaway. Well, he was going down in the well, and that bull, I guess he kind of thought that bull may jump out of it, but he was going, because he was wanting to right there. It was a really a nice ride. I mean, that's a really, you see Lloyd catch him. He's trying to get that bull to jump out of it. That's when he zig when he should have bagged. Oh, my. Get past that point and no return, then it's just uh, every man for himself. <laughs> this is Scott Bredding, Bull Nanza Nashville on Razor's Edge. Good turn to the left. Scott, he riding well, spurning him, he's in a little trouble. Whoa, ow, oh, you talk about, boy, he did a little mark on his honey. Woo! Really tagging right on that right hamstring, Scott Bredding, and you could tell it hurt. I mean, just punch. One way. Good ride. And there's not a whole lot that Scott could have really done here because his hand looked like it came out of the rope, but I mean, just. <laughs> wow. Tell you what, though. When the bull sticks you this straight on, it sure tends to make you a little taller. Yes. <laughs> oh, my. This is Cody Hart on Bellhop up in Portland. They had a clown stabbers on this, and Jerome Robinson brought a good bull to Portland. Cody Hart brought his riding britches to Portland. Really a nice ride. Hey, little wall in Western. Uh oh, you better hope they don't open that gate, Cody. What a good score. Cody Hart. Check. Had to come back in to get his hat. Crowd loved it. So did the judges, Donnie. It was a 91 point ride. A great exit. There it is, ugly face for eight seconds. Right there, away from his hand, made a nice move. He has this bull, and he's got a razor lock on getting the money. That'll cost you one of these days, but right now he's just having fun. All right. <laughs> Up and out. Norman Curry on train wreck. Albuquerque, Ty Murray Invitational. Uh oh, he left that foot. Oh, good turn.
with 87 points, but uh, that landing said, doesn't feel that way when you're 22, but boy. Look at the upper body. Look at the cowboy try. Here we go. I'll tell you. Look at this bull. I mean, this bull is getting it on, and that was a great bull ride. Yeah. Oh, Norman. Here's Mark Kane on the night train. The night train. Odessa, top gun. All right, Copenhagen Cowboy, get it on to the left end of his hand. He's got it going one way. Belly rolling, he's got him. All right, now he's got to get off. Oh, his foot's hung in a row. Oh, my. Mark Kane comes out of that one smelling like a rose. Before you saw that spur get hooked with the rope. That right there will, will increase the pucker factor a long way. Mark. Okay. Well, he just jumped out there. Starts real good and then kind of gives it up, gives him a belly roll or two. Mark Kane's got a good hold now. What's the blows now? Watch his spur hanging the tail of the rope. It's dragging him off. Wow, remind him of one that's been on a surfboard in Jaws. Whoa! Oh, no! Let me home! <laughs> Let me go home! Whoa! Jimmy says you're free. Here's Tony Booth. The Bulls call Buzz Lightning. All right. Round to the right. Good bull ride from Tony Booth. Oh, man, his hand hung in the rope. Held him up. That's nearly as bad to get the pink slip from the ball. A little flip at the end for good measure. Tony turns Tony Booth upside down. He got 78 points for the ride. That's not quite how you envision. Buzz Lightyear, a little young bull. Tony makes the right turn into his hand. He's riding him good. Well, watch his hand hang her over. Jimmy's going to get up or he'll come back. <laughs> oh, whoa. Wow. This is Adam Brewster. Small blocks. California. The legend of San Jose. Big, good looking Red Bull. Oh, good, good turn, Adam. This is a nice ride spurring the fire out of him. Not a boy. Whoa, bad choice. <laughs> well, they're playing wipeout, and that's exactly what that was. You talk about hanging 10 over this sucker's head. Adam Brewster scored 81 points. It's an extremely nice bull ride. Here we go. Good looking bull, just cranks her back and then you just don't ride one a whole lot better than this. But man, when the whistle blows, don't go to counting your money. He reversed it right back into him and I mean, blew it. Woo! They watch this bull, he said, okay, I feel you getting off, uh huh, spur me. Watch this, watch. Mm. And he's coming back around for you. <laughs> Good look at the hand of Leslie Doyle. He's on the Hooter. Well, I always want to say, not again. This is at the PBR Finals on Saturday night. Now, you've seen Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon. This is Saturday night. This is just a warm-up. Made the whistle. Stepped oh, right in his back. I mean, sometimes when it rains, it pours. Look at the guy out there in the exit gate. That wasn't even far enough yet for him. He was still backing up. And Leslie took a shot right in the back. Not an instant replay. There's the Justin Healer folks again, helping Leslie Doyle. Leslie Doyle, one thing about it, he'll be up and at him again. Mm -hmm. Rides this bull. Not a problem, but until he comes off the wall, he gets distracted now. Great work for our cameraman, but whistle blows. He tries to get his hand out of the rope, and now watch the bull's back foot right there. 
I mean, that's about as hard as you can get stepped on. Get you another look at this. Hear the crowd in the background, they saw it. Wow. That's 1,500 pounds in about 10 square inches. As I said, riding them's only half the battle. Okay, now let's get back to just some plain old wrecks. First up is Jerome Davis, the North Carolina cowboy who met up with a bull named The Legacy at San Jose last season. It's Jerome Davis. He's on The Legacy, San Jose, California. All right. All right. Trying to get her set. Says, okay, boys. Good little bull around to the right. He's going down in the well. Uh-oh. Oh, man, his hand, he's turned under his arm. I know that feeling, and that hurts. You gotta get loose from that. I mean, he is getting stepped on. Bullfighters are doing all they can do. I mean, check it out. Bull riders are coming out there. That's whenever it's getting so bad, it ain't even fun to watch anymore. The judge is one of them that's coming out there to get you. Yeah. So. Another look at it. Legacy. Just a little bull, almost too little for Jerome. Dropped him down in the well, but see how he came in under his arm? Doug Forzani is right there. I mean, he has just taken a pound. I mean, he's hooked him out of his britches. They're all coming. They're doing what they can do. Jerome finally has just kicked loose. The shafts are torn off. He can't run. Boy, everybody. Remember, Doug lost his pants. Jerome lost his shaps. All the way under his arm. Yes. That's about as bad a hang up as, as we've seen in, in a year or two. And he just is stuck in there. There's not a whole lot he can do. Here's David Fournier and Donnie, I remember this one on Mr. Twister. Oh, this happens every now oh. and then and it just knocked him out. He's just lucky this bull doesn't step on it. Happened down in Odessa, Texas. Well, he's had, he's got him a couple of big shaving scars. Yes. He's had a, you know, and, and early in his career, he had a real propensity for this because he'd really take deep holes with his feet. He'd kind of stick his chin out there and he's whole hard headed and tough. He just, you know, watch this. You know, that bull just barely hit him. But that was just a, a, a ingrained reaction for him to roll over and move up. I mean, because he's knocked out. And watch him get up. See, see him raising up. That keeps you from getting killed if you're a bull rider. Not laying flat on the ground. Here's Jim Sharp on Witch Doctor. You got to keep your feet in front of you. And he's whipped down, hung up. And this is a bad motor scooter right here. Along to Jerry Nelson. And, ooh. It amazes me that Jim never loses his cool, Donnie, when we see him get hung up. He does the right thing. He gets up on his feet. You know he's hurting. Great work by Jimmy Anderson. Hurt his leg, but he wasn't going to worry about that right here. But he's put too much pressure on his feet. This bull hops and skips. And look at him kicking. Jim is pushing on that bull rope as much as he can. This bull finally, I mean, he just pulls him down. I mean, he is a rank bull. Little Jimmy Anderson taking shots. All right, that's Roach right Roach there. He's right trying. There. And they're doing all they can do. Boom. There's Jimmy. Good job. Tough way to make a buck. Here's Cody Hart on Little Joe. This was in Kansas City. Okay, boy. Says, okay, boys, he is ready. Down to the left. He's going down in the well. Whoa. Get out in front of him. Justin Hawks, he's still trying to get out of the way. Good little bull right there. Cody says he just tagged me right there on the cheekbone. Jumping out here, this bull really did buck. Turn back, Cody just beat him around the corner, just anticipated a little bit too much. All right, Justin Hawks and Jimmy Anderson. Get in the action. Another look at it. 
<laughs> Whirling Derby. Yeah, gets that hand turned out of there, turned over, gets out. Here's oh. Dean Wilson on Little Ben. Portland, Oregon. Big old stout hook. Shoulder, boy, he flipped up and over and uh, everything moved, but he's on. I feel like one of those units getting hung up in the ring. Yeah. I mean, his feet just pop out, so that left one is, oh my, look at his hand. I mean, that was a good job right there by the bullfighter. Let's see what he grabbed right there. And he sees it. And he runs that bull down. I mean, he just runs it down. Pulls that tail Great. of that rope. I mean, that was Great. He doesn't get any better than that. Here's Jimmy Sharp again. This one was on Butterfinger. Billings, Montana at the Nile. It's that big old whale. Big white whale. I mean, Sharp is getting snatched. Whoa, look out. Oh, man. Run over twice. You talk about getting smoked. not going to wipe off. That's a little bit of a straight. A lot of that dirt, he didn't make the whistle. I mean, that's close. But this, uh, man, this in here is an awful bull. I mean, this, this bull probably doesn't get rode hardly ever. And then he's mean to boot. Look at that. Oh, nearly stepped right on him. I mean, Mike Matt, the world champion bullfighter, just got a hold of him doing all he can do. But I mean, the Bulls got him. Nothing they can do except come in there and keep him from getting him again. Look at Mike Matt. I mean, he got the bull by the horn. Here's Ronnie Kitchens. This was on Pinky and Albert Pinky. All right, this is a little mesquite bull. Turn back to the left, Ronnie Kitchens. Uh-oh, he's going down the well. He overrode him. He's hung up. He's up on his head. Ping pong ball. All of the air out of his rope, he pulled under there. I think he was mad. It's amazing. Ronnie seemed to balance on those horns for a couple of seconds, it seemed like. Yeah, <laughs> new deal. You know, unicycle bad enough. Now, he just kind of balled up there. He's just lucky that all he got wind knocked out of it. Might have got, yeah. got up on his. On his hand a little too far. Ouch. Oop. Very easy, Logan. Many ribs on that one. Ronnie Kitchens. Here's Scott Doyle. On Slim. All right, I remember this one. I thought he'd have been Fort Worth, and he had a good one going. Running up in the bull rope, but man, I just don't like it whenever you get stepped on in the middle. Look at Frank News. Pretty I mean, catty move right there. I mean, right that there, guy, he runs there. faster backwards than I can <laughs> forward. Oh. Scotty Doyle, he's trying to win it. He's jumping right down in there. You see, it's just lucky he just got, he didn't get stepped on. Now look at his back feet. Boom, all four. Boom. And it comes up just Boom. Of the game, I mean, five jumps. Wow. Missed him every time. Here's Dean Pace, Jesse James. I'm not Jesse James. This bull whipped him down and just knocked far from him. <laughs> Don't call me Jesse James. Dean Pace said, man, man. It's a good thing he didn't have horns. Yes. Watch this bull, now he's slinging his head, and then his feet come out. Whipped him down. If he had horns, he just kills him. And I mean, it was bad enough as it was. Not Jesse James. Wow, man, I mean, pop goes the weasel. This is Gilbert Carrillo in Vancouver on jailbreak. All right. Gilbert. Whoa! That's where it doesn't hurt to be young. Ladies and gentlemen, he threw away a 66. He had to 
Called him the tournament not, endearment there, I'm sure. I'm not certain that he likes that hat. <laughs> but I mean, he hung on to the shoot gate too long. And then just yeah. get piled up, and I know right on the back of the bench, that had to hurt. Watch this. You know we want to say about these fucking bulls every time we get the chance. Oh, wow. Okay. Take I'll that. get another one. I'm buying a black hat. Here's Owen Washburn on Red Rocket. Oh, hop and skip. Oh, yeah. This bull here is awful. Now he's hung up. Still hopping. I mean, it don't matter if you're the world. Look at that number one on his back, and that bull said, well, they never taught me to read or count. I stepped on Owen a little bit, but he's, it could have been worse. Kansas City. Bull riding. And, now, this is when you call one hopping and skipping. Hop, skip. Now, watch oh. his feet. Boom. I mean, and there, see, stepping on his legs and cow kicking at him a little bit. Yeah. Those are days you just wish you'd have stayed home. Woo! Ouch. Got to come loose sometime. That's the only good news. Boise, Idaho, here's K.J. Fletcher on the ring eye. All right, now we've seen K.J. on this wreck deal, and he's riding good. You've seen this before, and slam right under him. Oh, man. Lights are on, nobody's home. Got to help him up. Woo! Hit very hard right now there. You back. see that hat? That was the yard dart deal. Lloyd says, just Lloyd walk catch this him, way. says, boys, y'all need to come over here and get this guy. He thinks he's in New Jersey. Boise, Idaho, and he makes a good move. Outside foot. Boom! I mean, it's just a oh, one-point landing, boy. and that bull oh. likes to step right on his head. Watch it, watch his head. Boom! He's knocked out. Boom! He's lucky to be alive. He is lucky to be alive. That's right. Ah. Don't want to see it any closer than that. Barry Gullo on the red down. Well, you've seen this bull many times, and Barry's got a good ride started. What? Bola! Oh. I mean, jerked him down Jimmy so hard, he might have broke Jr. his arm. Folks, we are fortunate enough to have this group headed to him. Really Our hit Justin that elbow, looked like, oh, here. you're right, Don, he's Jay lucky to break his arm. If he did, watch Dave this. Lammers, Ted Bryan, Wooma! They are here <laughs> to take care of these gentlemen and help them do what is almost impossible, and that is keep riding bulls against this kind of talent. There we go. Right here, right here. Oh, oh, my. See, that's what you're supposed to do. You get your arm down there instead yeah. of your lips. It's not the exactly. easiest way to make a living. Well, just as course, There's Josh O'Byrne. He's up in Vancouver on white, white. All right. A little trouble. Whoa, get out from under him, Josh. Good move. <laughs> Woo. Sit right down on top of it. He's kind of lucky to come out of that uh -huh. one, uh, walking in one piece, light, and just gets it on, just cranks it back right there. Boom. Right in the gate, making a good bull ride. He's firm with the outside foot, tries to get it, gets in, and then that comes out too far, and then he just trips that bull, and he just does the, the, just does the limbo down on it. Get another look at it. It's a back foot, see, he trips him. Uh -huh. Then he lays on him, but he doesn't get the full force of it. But when he goes to get up, Josh does. You see how he gets himself up off the ground? It's, he just misses stepping on his feet. Never hurt to live right. Keep moving. Wade Joyle, first blood. Oh, it's a good bull right here. Good Canadian bull. Here he comes. Whoops. Wade knew him. That was a Wilf Gerlich bull. And Good shot in the face there for Wade Boy. He says, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? He's sitting there going, all right. Now I'm riding this bull. He's jumping and kicking out across there. Going to go to the left. And then Wapola. Hmm. I mean, <laughs> that bull went alley man left. In a hurry. 
I mean, and I think it was going to get better than that. He jumped sideways 10 feet. Here's Jim Sharp again. He's on lights out. Jim Sharp didn't really want to make this. He wanted to be in that ride section. A little bit more. Dan Russell Bull. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, down. Whoa. This guy Is this guy tough? I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah, nobody, nobody, nobody wants to, to try Jim Sharp on. Wow. Oh, boy. Get another look at this. this. I mean, now, this is a seven and a half second ride that doesn't pay nothing. He's going down in the well. He tries to hold it, tries to hold it. Boom. Sure. Here's Aaron Seamus on the Wild Child. Yeah, all right. Check the clown stabbers on this, and then don't think Aaron don't know about it. He goes to the left. Oh, man! Aaron was knocked out. You got to remember this. He gets stepped on. This is amazing. When he comes to, he's knocked out right there. The Justin Healers get there. He's going to come to in about 30 seconds, and he's going to have a little bitty cut on the inside of his mouth. I mean, he is not the least bit hurt other than he said my checkbook's a little lighter than it ought to be watch this because splat now watch the bull's front leg right here boom steps right on his chest bang boom now they take him out, and they're worried, but I guarantee you, yep. he said the only thing that was hurt was my checkbook. Although there were a lot of wrecks on the PBR Tour last season, there were also many, many great rides. Now, here's a stat for you. Last season, there were 29 rides of 90 points or higher on the PBR Tour, including four in the short go at Nashville alone. Now, as a former bull rider, I've got to show you some of these successful rides, too. Now here are 10 of my personal favorites, beginning with Lonnie Steverson on a bull named Zandy. Yes, and Donnie, this was a great ride. It was in Bull Nanza, Nashville. Well, this is when we begin to call Lonnie the Nashville Cat. To coin that little old phrase, round to the right, Zandy getting it on, and so is Lonnie Steverson. This is one of my favorite rides with one of my favorite guys. Get it moving, get it moving, keep it going. Now show me the money. That was a great moment for Lonnie Stevenson. It was a 96 point ride. And as good as it gets, it was a great one. Just, just really nice and good and happen to a nicer guy. One time he's glad to see Tandy. Yeah, you <laughs> go over there and say, hey doc, how you doing? And not have to work on it. Look at this bull buck. New Hebron, Mississippi. Not a lot you need to say right there. Just watch that. I love this. Get a little snot on your shorts, but they're going to pay you good. <laughs> That'll come off. Lonnie Stevenson. This is Troy Dunn on Red Wolf. Great ride. One a 95-point ride. One of the greatest rides in, a, in the kind of a setting that it is. Look at this. I mean, he had him bucked off. He was, what did Troy Dunn say? Exotic. Exotic, Mike. 95 points, capped off $156,000 win. The most in professional bull riding history. Had them standing on their feet at the MGM Grand. Including you and I. Absolutely. Tough Edelman. Well, tough congratulations. You better be ready. That's right. <laughs> I think in the sky was falling, but look at the judges. They're going, hey, you want to mark yourself? Outstanding. Watch the ride. You know, he had to ride him to win it. He's trying to win the world. He's trying to beat Michael Gaffney. That's doing all you can do and then just stand. 
I know, Donnie, this is one of your favorite rides of the year, Jerome Davis on Strawberry Wine. Well, it was at Nashville, and I thought he should have won first, even over my good buddy Lonnie Steverson, but just check it out. A little bitty bull with a great big heart and a great bull rider, Jerome Davis. I mean, and that's what you call, let's get it on on Saturday night. Oh. I mean, I'm telling you. What a ride. Look at, look at the bull riders back behind. Now, that tells you that is something special. You've seen more than one. Nashville, Tennessee bull manza was probably one of the greatest individual bull ridings maybe ever yeah, had. exactly. That I've ever seen, anyway. 94 points. You've heard me say it on a number of occasions. Anytime you're over 90, those other points, that's kind of like figuring out who's the prettiest girl. It just depends on who's looking. Check it out. This is in slow motion, everybody. Don't forget, this is in slow motion. That bull could double for a helicopter blade. Yeah. Great ride, 94 points. This is Rodney Lickgard on Moody Blue. All right, at the PBR finals, he's got a new baby on the way, and he needs the money. He's been crippled for two or three years, and check it out, both ways, $20,000 day money. Yeah. Take that. Little mama, you're gonna like me tonight. 93-point ride, million-dollar smile, Rodney Lickgard. For the transplanted Austin. All right. Round to the left is Peter bouncing. He just true grit stays in there. Now watch this. He just kind of shifts it back around, makes the great move. Good job. Here's Aaron Seamus. This was on Yellow Jacket. All right, PBR finals, last round, short go. Turns out backwards. Look at here. Come on, Aaron. What a nice bull ride. They ride this bull about two times every two years. Aaron Seamus knocked him out like Patton for Dan. Ooh, he's had a mile, and he got a great score, a 92-and-a-half point ride for Aaron Seamus. Auburn, California. All right. Rodney Lidgard with 93 on Friday. Aaron Seamus right here, 92-and-a-half on Sunday afternoon. Don't quit watching it. Just keeps on going. Here's Cody Hart, Sandy. You know you can be more than 92 on this one. Right back off his rope just a little bit. Did you see that? Did you see that effort? <laughs> that was a 92 and a half point right. ride. The boy right there showed you that he loves it. He absolutely loves to ride bulls. High five, he almost dislocated Jimmy's shoulder. Was he pumped? This bull is trying to buck now, Danny Andrews. Right there, cost him a little bit, but I'm gonna tell you what, just bearing down right there, he liked it. You know, if he'd have went straight down, he'd have knocked all his teeth out. I mean, it was just a good bull ride. Here's Adriano Moraes, the bull was Tiger Stripes. All right. Bull Manza, Guthrie, watch this. This is a nice ride. Look at him. Now, this bull right here, he's going to send this guy back to Brazil. Boy, is that pretty uh, Yes, yeah. man. Boy, oh, howdy. Got a nice bull right that uh, In control, spurring the whole way. 92-point score. He was on a roll at that time, Donnie. You know, what you have to remember, these are, these are rides. These aren't compilations from from five years. These are compilations from last year. Last year. I mean, this is a great draw right here. Tried to buck him off right there. Got his feet down. You let Adriano get the door open. He's coming oh, in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good to get him out. That's right. Here's Clint Bronger. This was on Tombstone at Bullman's in Nashville. All right. Cranking her back. This bull right here has kind of a bad reputation to jump ahead and out of it. Clint Bronger makes a great ride. As we've seen a lot of times, 
He makes a really yep, red yep. bull look like a white man. 92, and he made it look easy. I'm, I'm pretty certain. He's working and he's paying attention, but I'm pretty certain that he could talk to you right yeah. now while he's driving that boat. I, I, I'm pretty certain. <laughs> Relaxed and having a great time. Roscoe, Montana. This is tough heat, man. Jiminy Cricket. All right. Family looking on. All right, Tracy, he's gonna ride Jiminy Cricket like nobody's business. Look at that free hand. Yes, sir. Brother Roach. All right. At the PBR finals, it was worth 91 points. <laughs> Jerome says, nice job. All right. I mean, you know, sometimes they make it look so easy. But the Bulls in the PBR Finals, they didn't get ridden over five times in the entire year. Boy, what a great shot there. Tough eater. This is the G-Man, Michael Gaffney, reigning world champ. This was on Raisin Kane at this the is, Finals. This is the one that you got to make the whistle to be the champion of the world. This is where you don't want to tighten up. And check this out. You saw it in live action. That's how you become the champion of the world. Put your best foot forward and just keep on coming. And ride five for five. And an ovation, and deservedly so. The G-Man. <laughs> Professional bull riders, champion of the world. The best of the very best. And maybe as big a pressure ride, Donnie, as we've ever seen. Certainly for this young man. That's what it's all about. A lot of guys can ride when it's a $1,000 go around or something, but when it's a $20,000 day money, a $100,000 average, and the championship of the world, yeah. then how good can you ride? Michael Gaffney shows you he rides great. What a nice ride. There's one more look. And that's how they could have made that movie. Show me the money. Michael Gaffney's stretch run to win the world title was spectacular. Troy Dunn, with the ride you just watched on Red Wolf, won $156,712 at the finals alone, and I believe that to be the largest amount ever won by a bull rider at a single event. It capped a fantastic year on the PBR Tour, and I expect this season to be even more spectacular. Now, if you enjoyed this tape and would enjoy more rodeo action, just send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Rodeo Videos, P.O. Box 148-400, Nashville, Tennessee, 37214, and I'll send you a list of all my available rodeo videos. And until next time, partner, thanks for ordering this tape, and happy trails. <laughs>